Only the second week day of, uh, of the week and we're already having chapel, huh? Uh, <clears throat> how about we take our sheets then and we'll, we'll begin at the top of our sheets. We worship in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And, and like Pastor said last week, I don't have the music to the song that's on our sheets. So we'll, we'll sing hymn 150, stanza 1, okay? You saw on your sheets, and you can see up on the screen, uh, our, our chapel meditation for today is titled Assignment Complete. First, I want to ask, do you know what the definition of an assignment is? I think you all know what an assignment is. Do you know what the definition is? Or can you explain it to me? How's that? Matthias, what's an assignment? All right, now, <clears throat> Matthias used the illustration of school, right? It is something that you are assigned and you are expected to complete it, right? All right, so what I have are a few pictures up on the screen of some assignments, and they're not all school-related, by the way. And I just want to ask you, is that assignment complete? Are you ready? First, what's this a picture of? Johnny, what's that a picture of? A puzzle. Um, is this completed puzzle or is it incomplete? Shana. Incomplete. You can tell the pieces are all over the place and a puzzle is one big flat picture, right? Uh, what's this a picture of? Yeah, Claire. And... Does this house look complete? Is this something you'd live in? Ashton, no. No, yeah, you all agree. No. Still some work to be done. What do you think this student's doing? What's he doing? Yeah, he's doing this because why? Yeah, he's trying to do it in and, and, uh, Hadley. Yeah, does that look like he's completed his homework? No. Like Oliver said, he's doing this like because I'm not. I, I do have one final picture up there. And as you can see, uh, we, we got a picture of uh, the cross and the tomb all together in one. And here we're reminded of Jesus' assignment. And when you look at that picture... Does that look like Jesus completed his assignment or is it still incomplete? Addison. All right, you're going to have to help me. But I didn't hear what you said. He completed it, right? Um, and we'll talk about that assignment. Uh, <clears throat> Jesus came to save us, right? He came to... Uh, um, complete what we could not complete. And uh, this message, how do I say this? Um, well, we're just reminded of Jesus completing that saving work, and now that work that he completed needs to be told to everyone, right? We want to share that message that we are saved. And the message was told to the, the women at the tomb that Jesus' work was completed. 
uh, Jesus appeared uh, with two men on the road to Emmaus, explaining to them how work was completed. And then looking at our reading today, right after, or right before this, he came and appeared to his disciples to tell them, my assignment is completed. We look at our reading for today, it's from Luke 24, and it reads, he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He said to them, this is what is written, and so it must be. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Jesus completed his assignment to live without sin and to die for all people as God has foretold in Scripture. But now that message has to go out. It's got to go out into the world. And Jesus' disciples were his witnesses, but we too are witnesses through their message. And so we have this opportunity to share that message. And now I know many of us won't have the opportunity to go throughout the world to share that saving truth, but we do have a place where we can start, right? The disciples started in Jerusalem and spread out. And we have a community of our, our own here. We can witness right here in Reedsville. And how do we do that? Well, one, people know what school you go to, so we have opportunities to witness, well, our faith in Jesus just by the way we act, by the things we say, but most importantly, by the, what we share. And you and I have the privilege to share the truth of our Savior with our community. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to close here by reminding us we need to let people know. We need to let them know that they do not have to do something to earn heaven. People who believe they are saved by their own good works are constantly handing in incomplete assignments. But Jesus completed God's assignment and we want everyone to know that, that assignment that he completed. So let's tell everyone about this good news. Let's pray. Lord, you did it all. You saved us from going to hell by your sinless life, your death in our place, and your resurrection to life. Be with us as we tell this to troubled sinners everywhere that they may find comfort and peace in you. Amen. We now go to the other side of our sheets or up on the screen and we will sing the next hymn. I invite you all to rise 
and we'll read responsibly uh, Psalm 118, the selected verses. The stone the builders rejected. The Lord has done this. This is the day the Lord has made. And let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Children, go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, since